Pisces, how are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of January. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's begin by choosing a tarot deck. Pisces, what deck should I use, Pisces? I'm being drawn to this one over here. This is called the Dark Mansion Tarot. For those of you that care to know what deck I'm using today, who is this at the bottom of the deck? It is the King of Wands. There could be an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius of significance. Doesn't have to be, but this is like, this is a gentleman, guys, okay? Someone, a person that wants that is demanding attention, that wants to be noticed, that is noticed, doesn't just want to be noticed, but they're like the energy that they're exuding, their energy that they're in. It, it's just, it's very commanding. <laughs> it, it, it commands, it leads, it guides, okay? Here we have the five of wands. Okay, so there's a couple of things. <laughs> I'm getting that this is, for many of you, a, a person, a guy that a couple or a few people are fighting over. Or this, or it's, it's it's a gentleman here that is competing could be for your attention regardless of gender guys there is a person here that um has a very good position in whatever comp love romantic competition we have going on here there's a, a self-assurance <laughs> here and it's a king, of course. I mean, they have a crown, but there's like this, um, this, this self-assurance, and and just a tad bit not like um, snobby energy here. But you know, I I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I just feel like this is someone that is like feeling really sure. Excuse me uh, uh, about themselves. We have the two of cups, and then we have the chariot. Nice, yeah, guys, you see, look, the chariot, it, it does have to do with competition. This, this is a strong competitor, absolutely, this chariot. And then here we have the two of cups. All right, guys, so here I see someone that is like determined to do whatever it takes to be with a particular person. Could be with you, this could be you Pisces feeling like this about somebody else. And I feel like there's nothing that is going to deter you. It's like if you have to fight somebody, that's what you're gonna do. <laughs> it's like, look, if I have to fight somebody for you, I'm gonna fight somebody, okay? So that's like the kind of energy that we have going on here. I see this person being just like very fixed and there's like this tunnel vision even that I'm getting here of like only like only seeing this connection, only seeing you, you only seeing them. I feel like this is a, a connection as well that is could be under a lot of pressure, a lot of opposition. There's a lot of challenges here that for many of you are are being are you know are happening. And, and I do feel a, like a strong opposing force here. And it's the five of wands. So for many of you, I feel like this is opposition coming from several directions. Tell me more about this five of, this five of wands. Yeah, you see, look, this person's like, you know, back off. There is someone here like feeling a bit territorial, like I'm getting to with this five of wands, especially with this king of wands. I mean, look at this guy, like there's just something about them that just it screams like mine <laughs> yeah seven of wands and you see how this gentleman here is like back off like move 
back up, get away. Yeah. And then here we have the Six of Cups. We have a feminine energy that is sitting down on the table and they're looking at a picture. Yeah, the Six of Cups. So there's like a lot of sweet. This is a, this is a very welcoming energy, guys. So the feminine energy in this 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 reading, guys, in this connection, I feel like it's very. It's it, they have a very welcoming energy towards the the, the masculine. Yeah, there's there's a lot of sweet memories and feelings. There's a strong yearning and adoration here that is that is felt like i want to sigh like like that's what that's what i'm that's what i'm feeling right now seven of wands you see a person here that is feeling like they're 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 being threatened but I, I don't see this person necessarily being like insecure, but I do sense a feeling of needing to like reassure may, maybe not themselves, but those or those around to assert themselves. To like even make themselves known. Okay. <sighs> Tell me about the Six of Cups. Okay, that doesn't want to come out. Tell me about the Six of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles and then we have the Eight of Cups. There's somebody thinking about you a whole lot, Pisces. There's somebody thinking about you a lot. You're thinking a lot about this person as well. There is a strong desire to like reconnect or, you know, just just to, to be in love and, and to be together to be close to, to one another. And I feel like everything is being done or will be done to make this possible. I feel like this is the type of situation, relationship, okay, where, you know, making that happen, it might, it might be difficult, it might be challenging. But I, I, I do see someone with the King of Wands having the strength, the will, the motivation, the desire to, to overcome and get past all, all of these challenges. These I'm hearing these are just challenges, obstacles, little limitations and restrictions, guys, that you should not be discouraged by because you're, you're going to overcome and triumph over this adversity. With the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Cups. Look, guys, this is this is this is wanting Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, that's wanting something, you know. This is seeing something very valuable here. This is a new beginning, a new opportunity that is extended, that is taken. And look, there's like this departure here that takes place. Yeah. You, this person has luggage do you see so for many of you there's some sort of travel that will be happening especially so here with this yeah with this chariot there's some traveling i'm um, foreseeing for many of you and 
and I I do see someone choosing to go towards their happiness and and that happiness for many of you is in that two of cups is in in this connection in this relationship these are two people that love one another and that will be facing anything and anyone to to make this happen beautiful energy wow Be that's that's really i love this we have the lovers look what's going on here for many of you this is someone choosing to be with you pisces this is somebody choosing yeah this is somebody choosing to be with you pisces and and for for others of you this is as well you choosing to be with a particular person yeah choosing this is choosing a higher commitment this this is choosing love and for many of you this this is choosing you over another i do see someone leaving wherever it is that there are because they miss you and i do see them accepting an offer as well as giving you you know an um extending an offer here to you that you know you're really going to welcome and be very pleased by and i just feel like it's just going to really fill you with with hope it's going to give you a, a a lot of hope wow i see two people that just like really miss one another guys there's one particular person guys that is experiencing a lot of like opposition i do feel like it's this king of wands all right let's let's put all of this back in and now let's take a Let's take a look at your energy, Pisces, and then we're going to take a look at the other person's uh, energy too, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, we are connecting with Pisces. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's just standing out to me. That's the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody that is like mine, 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 mine. <laughs> like this is mine. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. All right, let's just let's leave that there for now there's like a greedy person here and i don't necessarily think that that's you pisces because this is your position all right pisces holy spirit what is pisces position in all of this we have the six of pentacles you see what I just said right now? It's like there's this greediness here. And then we get the six of pentacles, which is a, like a charitable energy. This is your position. For many of you, you could be saving like a lot. You could be saving money. And then here we have the five of cups. All right, for you, Pisces. All right, let me take this in. One more card. Pisces, Pisces. No. All right, let's see. One more card. All right, we have the Temperance, and then we have the Three of Cups. Here we have the Two. Ooh, we have the Two of Swords. All right, guys, so six of pentacles and the four of pentacles in your energy, Pisces, like, I feel like <sighs> there's, there's this, there's this, like, protectiveness that you're feeling, there's this energy of, like, having to hold on, okay, to what it is th that you have. I feel like there's a lot of people around you that perhaps could want your help, your assistance, your charity, or your generosity in some way with the Six of Pentacles. 
But with the Four of Pentacles, I just feel like you're not in the position to, to do that now. And I do feel like that is upsetting with the Five of Cups to a particular person. I do as well see you giving your time and your attention to somebody. I see you like being very generous with could be your time, your attention with, you know, with just you. I just see you being very generous. I see others being very generous with you as well. Like there's this like, let me let me share this with you. Yeah, like let me share this with you. And with the four of pentacles though there's like this with there not necessarily withdraw but there is this like cutting off all right so yeah like i'm getting that for many of you you could be in a position to like give okay but you are like stopping yourself from you know giving of yourself and for many of you this is to a particular person okay and I, I do see that person being dis, like, you know, just being distraught about this. And guys, I do feel like for many of you, you know, this is now for some of you, this is somebody being very generous with you. And I do see them like not being that way. It's like they're not like this with everybody. They're giving of their time and their energy to you. Four of Pentacles, but they're withholding. They're not. They're not being this generous. It's like they're being. Um, what is that? They're being a Scrooge, right? They're being a Scrooge with somebody else. And I feel like it's this person that is sad. I do feel like that is this Two of Swords that is blocked. So there's a person for many of you that is blocked. That will be blocked. That doesn't really know what's going on here. Okay, with the Two of Swords. And what is going on here? Well, the temperance and the three of cups. So with temperance, guys, this is, and the three of cups, This these two cards represent reconciliation. For many of you, there's like this new, there's a new relationship, there's a new connection. Do you see that with the four of wands and the ace of pentacles? Yeah, there's a new relationship, there's a new connection here that, you know, is being invested into pretty much. And there's somebody, there's another person here that is being cut off. And uh, I do see the other person being distraught and I do see the other person being blocked, like not, you know, knowing or seeing what, what's happening. And with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, it's like, it's like this, it's like, look, you have, you, 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 you have, you are in a position to be generous with your time. For many of you, I'm getting even with like your success. You know, because like that person looks like they're they're dressed really nice, and it's like you you know you're doing for many of you I'm getting you're doing a lot better, and and well somebody is seeing that they're 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 seeing you like and give to they're seeing you give to somebody else or they feel it it's they certainly don't don't feel the the charity the generosity over here okay. They don't feel that from you. And I do see them like wondering like why, why that is. But I feel like they're blocked from that. For many of you, you could be choosing not to communicate this with this person. Now here with the temperance and the three of cups, I do feel like all of this is pretty much happening because there is a reconciliation here with the temperance and the three of cups that is like happening. There's a reunion for many of you. The three of the three of cups that is that is happening and there's like this this there's like this this thrill this joy this happiness all right that that is felt about this connection that we have here and and, and the potential this new opportunity to to have this guys beautiful energy hmm and look, seven of wands, I do see someone just saying, look, get like, get away from me. Like, yeah, like for many of you, this is the masculine energy, like pushing somebody else away. Like get, like just back off. Like leave me alone. Tell me about this two of swords. For many of you, this is a person that is connected to you, Pisces. Now for a selective few, this is like the, this is, 
not you Pisces, but it's the your significant other. Apply it, okay, to your situation. But with each position, we're always going to see like a mixture of energies, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, tell me about this Five of Cups. I'm going to clarify the Five of Cups and the Two of Swords because I am like curious about this energy. For many of you, this could be a Taurus. This could be a Libra. For some of you, okay, this could be, okay, a wife somebody that yeah because it's it's the empress okay look here we have there's a bunch of cards behind this one the empress we have the eight of swords we have the five of swords and then we have the ace of swords so for many of you I'm, this is what i'm getting guys look like what is this one being blocked from you see how there's somebody here that is being blocked like they don't see it's like what don't they see they don't see the empress okay for many of you, this Empress, guys, is like, this Empress is this one. It's the one in the Four of Wands. It's the one in the Two of Cups. Empress. There could be somebody that is pregnant here or that is going to get pregnant. This, this, is, this is the one, okay? Let's just say that's the one. This could certainly be the Feminine Pisces. You're this one, okay? This is the one. This is the, this is the Empress in this situation, okay? This is not the one crying on the table, okay? This is this is the chosen one for many of you, this empress. This this is the one, this is the, the one that they love, that they want to be with, this empress. Now here with this eight of swords and the five of swords, guys, I do see like someone being like careful, okay? I do see the, a person being blocked, okay? And I feel like that's because, look, we have the Five of Swords there. Okay, so the Five of Swords has to do with, like, I'm seeing the Five of Swords as just somebody that you can't trust because, well, they're, they, will, they will try, they will do something bad. They will, do, they will take neg negative actions. They will, like, retaliate or just, you know, just do, just, just start doing a bunch of messed up things with the eight of swords and the five of swords yeah so for many of you this is like an ex okay someone yeah or like a crazy ex i'm getting for many of you i'm kind of getting that feeling um well this is a person that is being like blocked from all of this because i do feel like they have the potential to try to like like even lie like i could see like i could see lies happening here with the eight of swords and the five of swords i do see calamities okay like potential for calamities and and for sabotaging and uh well with the ace of swords i feel like you know it's just i feel like that is just like the reason why this is being done and then here we have the moon card I do see this person like, like right now I heard like finding out, but this is like, I'm getting like the spying energy here with this moon card. This one, there's somebody here that knows that there's something like off and weird. And like I do see them like like getting or getting to the wanting to get to the bottom of like why is like something here is happening, and then we have the star. Yeah, I do see this. There's someone here. Okay, I'm getting that is this five of cups. That's like what you know what. There's something off. There is something off. Yeah, the empress is what's off. To, you know there's there's for many of you there's two people in love here and there's another one here that is somehow a factor connected and well they're they're noticing right that there's that that uh their their person is not like the same look we have the lovers you see that we have the lovers yeah, for many of you, this is leaving somebody and choosing somebody else. And look, there's like this betrayal here or this, 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 yeah, there's this grave disappointment here. 
of like, oh my God, there, there's an ending, guys. There's an ending here that is like, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's, there's almost like, there's no, it's gonna be like devastating, but it's like overkill. It's, it's overkill. So what do I, like, what am I getting from that? It's like, Like, I almost feel like it doesn't have to be this way, but it's like this person is going to make it that way. Yeah, look, here with the emperor, for many of you, I feel like there's somebody here that's even going to be getting, like, married. There's somebody here, yeah, that's like, what the hell am I saying? Look, wedding, you see? Bride and groom right there, and it's judgment. Yeah, guys, for many of you, I'm getting like this is somebody that is leaving a relationship and it's like they're going to leave and then like get married. Yeah. For many of you, this could be like a divorce that is happening and then they get married. This is getting a divorce for many of you, ending a marriage, okay, with the judgment card. And there's somebody here with this nine of wands that's like not going to be convinced, you know, uh, to do otherwise. This is a person that is not going to be moved, swayed any other way. This is a person that's like determined. It's like, no, this is, this is what, this is, this is how it's going to be. This is, this, this, it's like this, I'm not changing my mind. This is a person that is not going to be swayed or, you know, swayed or just moved or, inspired to give this up meaning you know there's someone here that's just like there is there there's a wedding for many of you that it's going to happen here okay beautiful energy hmm. it's all it's positive for sure but, you know, there's one particular, you know, person here who's maybe, you know, that outlook is, is, this is not the most positive. But overall, I mean, it is. Look, you see, four of wands, you see, there's for many of you, there's a wedding here that is happening. Look, both of these cards represent wedding. Look, six of wands is a wedding. And then the four of wands as well is, is a wedding. This is a proposal for many of you. There's a proposal here that is gonna is happening for many of you. I mean, I hate to break it to you, but you know, you you're gonna be proposed to, and I'm like messing up the surprise here. <laughs> the Eight of Swords. Yeah, look, and Five of Swords. We have somebody here, guys. I do feel like it's an X of some sort, or. A negative force here that's attached to you the other person that you know it's it's gonna it's not gonna like this and i do foresee them like wanting to infiltrate and create some trouble some chaos a disruption here i do feel like there's lies okay with the eight of swords or like creating doubt you see there's like this like i uh, creating doubt Yeah, I do see someone creating doubt here, guys. That could potentially make another person like doubt, like, should I do this? Like, I don't know, like, should I do this? Look, the star and then the justice, wow. The star and the justice card. this this really just gives me like what is it i'm gonna call this wedding bells or something yeah the star and then the justice card there's like this there's an agreement here a contract of some sort the star and then the justice card there's a contract like a very beneficial arrangement a contract here that is like very abundant and fav favorable 
Give me one more card for this. What is this justice card here, Holy Spirit? Any sort of court proceedings, guys, that you have that you have going on that maybe, you know, you you have some doubt about or some worry that you have your hopes on. I do see that like unfolding the way you want it to or in your favor. We have the Knight of Pentacles. What is this? I'm, it's like I'm getting, several, I'm getting several things from this. And I'm trying to pinpoint it to one thing. For many of you, this is like a wish. This is a wish coming true. There's a lot of success here, guys. And then we have the hangman. All right, so this is just going to resonate with a few of you. I mean, this I'm get this is a contract, some sort of agreement here that is incredibly prosperous. And it could have to do with career, with business, with the star and then the justice card. And with the Knight of Pentacles, I I do see a lot of plans being made here, guys. And then we have the four. I see things moving forward, guys, progressively. I do feel like there's a hold up here. I feel like this is future energy for many of you. It could be like now. There's like a hold up. But what you need to know is like I'm hearing continue continue planning and things are moving forward slowly. There is a there is a new beginning. There is a um freedom here and liberation that is going to be experienced guys with the star and then the justice card for many of you this could be like a divorce, okay? The star and the justice that is like finalized and you're like, "Yes, finally." This is you having justice, meaning just everything just turns out in your favor because, well, that's the right thing to do because you're deserving of it because that's just, yeah, it's just supposed to happen in that way. And with the fool, I do see you having a clean slate. Like being able to start like a new venture, being able to just start over just being able to start over, guys. And I feel like for many of you, that is incredibly important. All right. And I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Here we have the four of wands and then we have the three of cups. Guys, this, this, is, uh, this is a wedding that is going to be happening. There's a proposal. Look, that's a proposal. Look, you see all that fruit there? It's like they're celebrating. Look, why are they celebrating? There's a proposal here that's going to happen. Now, for many of you, again, there's like some legal stuff here that, you know, could come up. There's like a very, very beneficial contract, guys, okay, that is going to take place. This is something that you need to know is going to be moving forward progressively. There's like a bit of a hold up here, but what you need to know is that it's going to be moving forward. Nonetheless, there's a need to have patience here through this entire process, okay, with this justice card and with the full to know that there is a new beginning, a new start for you. What's up with these alarms? Let's get an oracle card. I, I turn all of these off and they just turn back on. All right, Pisces. This is wonderful. Let me get a message. Let me, um, yeah, let's, let's get some messages from here. Pisces, if you want to book a reading with me, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. All right, let's see what we have here. I don't know what the name of this deck is. It came in this bag and 
doesn't have a name. All right, let's see. A message for Pisces. I love you. I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. That's that King of Wands for many of you talking. I love you. This is a message for you, my dear Pisces. It says, I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. I had a change of heart. I'm going to follow my intuition. Yeah, that's that two of cups there that we saw. It says, I've been keeping us a secret. It goes, I've been keeping us a secret for so long. I feel nobody will understand our love. Yeah, for many of you, there's like, there's secrets here, guys, or there's things, you know, that, but there's like this, there's this protectiveness here of like, you know, having to withhold information or keep things secret, not because there's like necessarily deception going on, but, but for many of you there is, but it's because there's a fear of regarding, or, or there's a fear around the, you know, revealing the truth and what that could potentially bring to to you or another person which which is just you know problems that it will create that a person you know would create for you or for another i had a change of heart i'm going to follow my intuition so yeah this is a person who is like changing their mind i do see that with the two of swords and and um uh, or i did i did see with the two of cups or the lovers i should say it was the lovers I, I see someone following their heart, following their intuition. And well, I love you. There's a lot of love here, guys. There's two people that, that love one another and maybe they could not express that before for whatever reason they weren't. They, it's like there was a restriction there, but I do feel like that is finally going to end and there's two people here that will be able to be together yeah, they will be able to be be together and express their love towards each other. I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. This is what I have for you, Pisces. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.